It's not often that someone from the Binghamton area makes it to the big leagues, but that's exactly what happened to Hillcrest native Justin Topa. Three and two again. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Nice pitch from Topa, and he had Perez off balance. I grew up right here in, in uh, Shanghai Valley School District, uh, right up the street in Hillcrest. Um, started playing baseball at a pretty young age. Uh, as far as I can remember, um, you know, I was playing catch with my dad and, you know, out, out in the neighborhood playing with, uh, playing with the other kids. Including his childhood friend and current Binghamton mayor, Jared Cram. Almost every single day in the summertime, uh, myself, Justin, some of the other neighborhood kids uh, would play a sandlot baseball. So Nerf bat, Nerf ball. One of the dads would be the all-time pitcher. Uh, and, you know, Justin was always very talented as an athlete. And always had a love for the game. He worked as a bat boy for the Binghamton Mets and went on to play in high school for Shenango Valley, winning two Section 4 Class B championships under the leadership of Coach Dave Tiddick. 2008 was the first sectional title that he won. Uh, we were number one in the state all year. That was a, a, such a close-knit group, and Justin was a big part of that, you know, on the mound, and also he actually played second base for us, too. Uh, the next year, there were three sectional games, and he pitched in all three of them to, to win the title. So he played a huge role in 2009 as well. That was the first taste of, of having some, some winning aspects in, in, uh, in baseball for me. It definitely propelled me uh, in my baseball career, understanding, like, what it takes to win and win at a high level. On November 14th, 2008, Topa signed a national letter of intent to play for Division I Long Island University. Warriors baseball star Justin Topa also made a splash with his signing today. I was really excited. Uh, it's been a dream of mine for a while. And uh, just to go down there and play with former teammate Derek Subski, uh, I was really excited and um, can't wait to go down there. Topa saw success at LIU, tallying 200 strikeouts, 20 wins, and 13 complete games while also earning accolades such as Louisville Slugger Player of the Week, NEC Pitcher of the Week, and ECAC Pitcher of the Week. Topa's college success was ultimately recognized when he was drafted by the Pirates in 2013, but his journey to the majors was far from over. Going through the, the whole process of through the minor leagues and the injuries and all that stuff and getting released and then picked up out of indie ball, um, there was always that end goal of like, you know, I think I could pitch in the big leagues. It would be seven years through the minors and independent leagues, three MLB organizations, and his second Tommy John surgery before Topa would get the call that every kid dreams about. He spoke with Fox 40 sports director Dylan Kuhn in 2020 about the opportunity to play for the Milwaukee Brewers. It's the phone call that any baseball player wants to hear and, um, you know, I was able to to call my dad and, and my sister and, uh, and, and update them and obviously very emotional morning. Topa would spend three seasons with the Brewers, and on January 7th, during the celebration of another milestone, the birth of he and wife Trisha's first child, Topa learned his career would be taking another turn. I was recently just traded to the, the, uh, the Mariners, so excited for that opportunity and to uh, get things going there. Topa's improbable journey inspires a new generation of baseball players. It's very inspiring to know that somebody who started out as the, at the same place as me can make it to the highest level just like any of us here can. Justin has been a personal role model for me, someone who you know, looked at challenges in the face and, and just went right through them. That was, I think, something that inspired me to you know, take the risk and, and run for mayor, uh, being the youngest mayor in, in history. Oh, well, Justin was the player that everybody wanted to coach. I mean, he was there at practice, you know, first one there. He was the last one to leave. Um, he was the ultimate teammate. <laughs> hey, coach, thanks for everything. Topa, you put it on my yeah, car a after a golf practice, <laughs> and I kept it, but also a very good family man. That's the story that should be told out of Binghamton. The, the Hillcrest community, uh, that had him grow up the way he did, the Shenango Valley community that supported him. You know, he wasn't a guy that rolling into junior or senior year, he was a hot prospect about to be drafted. You know, he, his senior year, became really the pitcher that we see today, a dominant, tall right-hander uh, that can make you look foolish in the batter's box. You know, that, I saw that happen in real time, and eventually uh, people in the major leagues took notice of it too. A dream can be fulfilled through through that hard work, dedication, you know, not taking no for an answer. 